It's Monday, which means it's time for our weekly box office report, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Coming in at number one is Star Wars The Force Awakens, making over $153.5 million in its second week of release. Coming in second spot is the new Will Ferrell Mark Wahlberg comedy Daddy's Home, making $38.5 eight million dollars and the number three spot is the new jennifer lawrence film joy taking in 17.5 million dollars and the number four position is the tina fey amy poehler comedy sisters making 13.8 million dollars dropping less than one percent from its opening weekend and rounding out the top five is alva and the chipmunks making 12.7 million dollars and dropping just 11 percent from its opening weekend john what stands out to you about this week's box office report okay well let's put the big obvious thing to the side for a second incredibly impressed with the performance of Daddy's Home. Mm -hmm. What well, I mean, I, I really did not think it could get close to $40 million in the second week of Star Wars. And, and not to mention, forget Star Wars aside, I didn't really feel much of a buzz for that film at all. And then the reviews have not been great, all that kind of stuff. But for it, on Star Wars the second week, with the buzz that we thought, to get almost $40 million is impressive. Super impressive though, Sisters. Sisters, which opened head-to-head -head against Star Wars, dropped 0.3%. Crazy. This, that's insane. It dropped only 0.3%. So I guess a lot of the people who were interested in, in Sisters went out to see Star Wars last weekend, and then this weekend came back to the theaters to go see Sisters instead. And Alvin and the Chipmunks also only dropped like 11, 11.5%. 11 mm -hmm. Those are insane numbers. That is fantastic. Uh, going back to what you're talking about, Point Break. Point Break opened this weekend uh, and only came in eighth place, but still made $10 million. I'll be honest with you, I was expecting it to make like five. Mm -hmm. I was really expecting it to make five. So that's a big disappointment, though, has got to be Concussion, the Will Smith movie, which is a movie oh gosh, for yeah. like all year we'd been looking forward to. It opened this weekend, opened in sixth. Tell the truth, Tell man. the truth. Tell the, the truth. The truth is it opened in sixth place man. with only $11 million. Now, granted, the movie only cost $35 million to make, but and probably you know 33 of that was Will Smith's paycheck. But, I mean, to <laughs> so I, I, I think a lot of people were expecting this movie <laughs> to open to a lot more. And I think Joy, you know, it's... You know, the ratings it was it's been getting, the reviews mm -hmm. it's been getting. So opening with 17 million has got to be a little bit of a disappointment. But let's talk about the big Avi thing here. Star Avi. Wars. All right. Star Wars second weekend makes $153 million. Now, it took a little bit more of a dip than we were expecting. I think I was predicting around a 30% drop mm -hmm. or I was hoping for about 30%. Came close to a 40% drop, 38% drop is what it ended up getting. But wrap your heads around this, okay? Everybody talked about what a huge smash hit Fast and the Furious 7 was, right? And for good reason. It is a huge, insane hit. Fast and the Furious 7, the big, massive hit, on its opening weekend that everybody raved about, made $147 million on its opening weekend. Star Wars The Force Awakens just made more money in its second weekend than Fast and the Furious 7 did on its opening weekend. As a matter of fact, if you want to take Star Wars The Force Awakens second weekend numbers, it would come in 10th place in the all-time opening weekend record list. Only nine films in history made more money on their first weekends than Star Wars The Force Awakens made in the second weekend. Wow. That is insane. And also put this in mind. Uh, the previous record holder for the largest box office second weekend was Jurassic World, which made $106 million. Only two films in history have made $100 million plus in their second weekend. Jurassic World and I believe uh, Avengers. But Jurassic World was the record holder at 106 this almost beat it by $50 million. Again, I think living in this time that we are right now, I don't think we fully appreciate the gravity of these numbers that we're seeing, how crazy these numbers are. Now, another little record that Star Wars The Force Awakens broke this week was that it became the fastest movie in history to reach $1 billion. It took Jurassic World, worldwide that is, it took Jurassic World 
13 days to hit the billion dollar mark. It took Star Wars The Force Awakens 12 days. So it only beat Jurassic World by one day. But keep this in mind. Hadn't opened in China yet. And Jurassic World did open in China in its opening couple of weeks. Star Wars has not yet. So Star Wars, I mean, arguably Star Wars could have hit the $1 billion mark on day 10 as opposed to day 12. But still, it, it broke the new record, all that kind of stuff. Now, Star Wars is now approaching a new record. The all-time domestic box office record is held by Avatar. And Avatar made about $760 million just in North America. Star Wars, on the end of just its second weekend, has already crossed the $554 million, or $544 million mark at just the end of its second weekend. I think Avatar's numbers are, are days are numbered as far as the domestic box office record. I believe Star Wars is going to smash it and smash it hard. But where are we in terms of worldwide? All right. So Avatar still holds the worldwide box office record as well at two point, roughly $2.8 billion. Star Wars right now is just sh sitting just a hair under $1.1 billion. It's still $1.7 billion away. I still feel dubious about Star Wars The Force Awakens' chances of catching Avatar in the worldwide box office. We're gonna get a much better indicator once it does open in China and see what kind of business it does in China. Because there are some people who don't think it's gonna do all that great in China. Some people think it will. And that'll give us, a, I do think it's a lock for catching Titanic for number two all time. But, I mean, I don't know. That It's still one, despite this huge opening, it's still $1.7 billion mm -hmm. away. Um, that is a huge, tall order. But, I mean, every other record is falling. And I think it has a chance. I think it has a chance. But if I had to put money on right now, I'd still guess that Star Wars Force Awakens is not going to catch the worldwide total of Avatar, but it will smash the domestic record. So those are the things that stand out to me. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.